what probably slightly annoyed prehistoric humans. All these young people growing their own food and raising animals. I heard that Oaks boy stopped traveling altogether, just living in one place. It's making man weak, make hunger bung a great again, mubga. When the wind turns at the wrong moment during a hunt, persistence hunting was a method of hunting used. They would go after the animal until it was too tired to continue running. For anybody who doesn't know, while we may be slow runners, our legs are very efficient and allow a fit and trained person to run for hours. Ick we are second only to sled dogs in terms of endurance running. So we could continuously track an animal until it physically can't run from us anymore. Imagine that nightmare for the animal, you run from scary humans, think you're safe so you start resting, oh crap they're back. Gotta run some more, sand. It's so coarse, so rough, so irritating. It freaking gets everywhere too. Especially when you don't have pants. Time travelers taking pictures or videos and taking souvenirs, they didn't have air conditioning. So I bet their balls got stuck to their legs constantly. I thought for a second that you said hair conditioner and I was concerned for a moment like do men really use conditioner on their balls? That's my excuse when my girlfriend walks in on me I'll condition as fast as I want. Having to eat bloated ticks off their friend who fell asleep in tall grass after having 10 too many fermented crab apples. Bro, are you eating the ticks? Yeah. Dude WTF is wrong with you? How else am I supposed to get rid of them? Squish them? Yeah but, ah, uh, fuck. Fleas and lice were a constant back then, but I can't imagine ever really getting used to them. I was going to say small, flying, biting insects. We call them midges here in Scotland, but infernal hellspawn would be a better name. They prefer the term little people you insensitive fuck. Backslash when you sneeze while making a negative handprint on a cave Backslash when you come back home with a fawn you killed and your kid says Gert's daddy killed a moose yesterday Backslash when your deer's skin is slightly too short to make a decent top Backslash when you tried to make a swing needle out of bones and it broke Again Backslash when you told your father and husband to kill a moose and they killed a mammoth while you don't have time to cut all of it in the day or the place to stock it. And they are proud of them backslash when your new neighbors went picking wild plants and they even took the young sprouts or when they starts cut flint before sunrise. Greater than when your deer's skin is slightly too short to make a decent top I laughed at this. No doubt they made a hat or something out of it instead. But I can just picture some caveman holding up the too short deer skin to his chest and snarling with frustration. Manscaping with a sharp rock. I worked at a summer camp with a guy who would burn his pubes. It smelt awful. Why would anyone ever do that? The cording for your favorite bead shell necklace breaking. Someone mistaking your favorite pointed stick for the fire stirrer. Your kid running off with that really nice sharp rock and losing it in the river. A fucking cave bear coming up on the deer you just downed. All that work and that fucker's gonna take the fruit of the labor. The kid putting a bad berry in their mouth and getting sick after you told them not to eat those berries. The local village idiot who does inexplicable shit like trying to make all the round things flat just because he had a vision telling him to do it. You don't know how many jars you've lost to that fuckwit and now you've got some bird's eggs that'll go great with the moose jerky and that asshole is eyeing your find. Greater than someone mistaking your favorite pointed stick for the fire stirrer. Today I learned what would have triggered me as a prehistoric human. I don't know if anything similar has ever happened to me but. I genuinely feel angry just reading about this. Stupid fucking dickhead Neanderthal motherfuckers. I think it triggered a brief moment of ancestral homicidal rage. Someone way way up in my family tree definitely killed a man over burning her favorite pointy stick, and for a fraction of a second there I felt it in my jeans. Periods with no proper pads, tampons or painkillers available. Tea made from willow tree bark is basically homebrew aspirin, and inconveniently fucks up your stomach. The big innovation of aspirin was not it being a painkiller, but making salicylic acid available without the side effects. K 
kids poop in eat corner and eat in poop corner I not mad they just kids but they need learn respect cave, then have own cave someday. Oh no not eat in poop corner Gary died eat in poop corner Gary sick two suns and moons. The fact that good quality shit posts were relegated to the smooth walls of hot single caves in their area. You had me a hot single caves. The word fuck hadn't been invented yet, so when they stepped on a Lego barefoot at 3 a.m., they could only yell ambrosia. Nothing quite describes pain like an ambrosia salad. Animals fucking with their stuff. Edit, thank you for my first ever silver. Smile. A week ago I read an article about how people who work from home because of COVID are terrorized by their pets while working, so this is not specific to prehistory. My housemate's cat literally knocks on my door until I let her in. Then she does one lap of my room and fucks off. All those damn stone tablets they keep finding everywhere advertising someone wants to talk to them about their extended warranties. When the waitress at Bronco Burgers tips your car over by putting those fucking huge ribs on the side of it. Having to poop outside the cave when it was raining. People pooped in pots and kept them under their beds until the 19th century. I'm not sure prehistoric humans had raised beds. Accidentally wiping with poison ivy. Definitely more than a slight annoyance. When the girl you have a crush on goes for the literal Neanderthal. Till Neanderthals were ancient chats. I'm waiting for virgin homo sapiens versus chat Neanderthal meme. Biting the inside of their mouth while chewing. I'm sure this is still a common occurrence in rave clubs today. Rave caves, cool face. Standing in mammoth shit. Fucking mammoths owners. If you're going to own one, you're responsible for cleaning up after it. Accidentally chipping a bit too hard when you're finishing up a spearhead and ruining it when you leave Grog to watch the fire and he falls asleep and lets it go out, and you have to start it all over again being called a Neanderthal fucker when we all know there is nothing wrong with that actually. Greater than being called a Neanderthal fucker when we all know there is nothing wrong with that actually fun fact. All human beings who have roots outside of Sub-Saharan Africa have some Neanderthal DNA. That doesn't make them Neanderthal fuckers though. Just means somewhere along the line they were descended from a Neanderthal fucker. Geez your grandfather fucks one Neanderthal and your family can't live it down for 200,000 years. When you wake up in the morning and you roll out of your pile of leaves and hay and your feet touch the freezing cold rock cave floor. First world problems. You look at this guy with leaves and hay, must be nice. More than a slight annoyance, what the heck did the women do when they got a yeast infection? Those are horrific without prescription diflucan. You can't even walk if you have a bad one. They probably knew some herbal remedies, or at least some general soothing plant paste. At sea the ice man who died in the Alps 5000 years ago carried herbs that have a chemical effective against intestinal parasites. He had a case of worms that he was trying to treat, but he was killed by an arrow in the back first, so we'll never find out if it was going to work for him. The medicine found on him was also found in his intestines, so there is a good chance it did. Not to mention he possible had Lyme disease, arthritis, tooth decay, and was lactose intolerant, to name a few things wrong with him. There was a good chance he was living with some type of pain before he died, and thus knew of herbal remedies to relieve said pain. And that is without going into the tattoos he had across the affected joints, which seemed to be a more alternative method of healing. Going to your favorite fruit tree or berry bush and finding someone else has already picked it clean, legit. Same with a mushroom patch. Don't you dare picking on my bush. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are the primary vector for malaria, a disease which by some estimates may have killed something like half of all humans who ever lived. So they're more than a slight nuisance. But without understanding why they were getting sick and dying, you're right in that prehistoric humans probably didn't realize how annoyed they really should have been by mosquitoes. Plus they were itchy as shit. Stepping on stone Legos. Well nobody likes a stubbed toe.